Okay, this video is on how to uh, get command prompt on Windows 10 and get to the directory uh, easily. Uh, Windows 10 has made a change. Microsoft, you should say, not Windows 10. Made a change on the way they do all this. Uh, hasn't made it easier for the user, but anyway, there is a way to get back to default, which I spoke to uh, people on a video on here a while back, but there seems to be a lot of questions on Windows 10 since they've made this change. But anyway, this is Windows 10. Um, way you can get your uh, command prompt very easily is to right click on your start menu, come down here. You'd normally have it here under PowerShell where this is. Well, this is the way Windows 10 has changed stuff. So here's an easy way of getting this back. You can come here to settings. You can get settings that way, or you type in settings. You just start typing in command, and you'll see it says replace command prompt. This right here, replace command prompt with Windows PowerShell in the menu. I don't want it to be replaced, so I'm going to put that back the way I like it. Now when I right-click on this, I get command prompt. So there it is. It only changes it there. It doesn't change it in the folders or anything else. But really, another easy way of getting command is just coming down here and start and just start typing in CMD. And right there's command prompt. Another way to do it, uh, Windows and R. Windows R, that brings up your run, CMD. That's another way to bring up it. Anyway, that's all fine and dandy. But uh, I've got a folder here. Uh, get it over here. I've got a bunch of files. I want to combine into one. Uh, we had a triple homicide last night. And I want to gather all these little audio clips and make them into one file. So I'm going to copy from where it began at, which I know was at 2020-44. Right there, that's where they start calling all the uh, detectives out and officers. Anyway, I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop. Give it a name. That was over in Livingston County, so that's what I'm going to give it a name as. And I'm going to go ahead and paste those all in there. There they are. All there. So, now I've got all these. I've got this command prompt. I could easily, you know, change directory, go back, uh, look for the desktop. And I would have to navigate, and I, and I could find it. But it doesn't matter. The easiest way to do this come right up here to your folder where you have your files residing and if you click up into there it will show the, the complete path there's the complete path see user scan so there it is I'm gonna right click I'm gonna copy that you could go control C to get them all now all you have to do is right click um, well first of all you put in CD and then you right click and there it is and hit enter and that, there I am at that new path. Now if I hit directory, that shows me all the files. So to kind of show that whole thing again, uh, I can right click here, command prompt. I'll put in CD and I can go to the path I want, right click, copy, and then just to right click or control V, whichever way. Hit enter, there we are, directory. There's all my files. Now what I can do is I can go copy, and go forward slash B, and that stands for binary. But if you want to see what they all stand for, you can go copy, forward slash, question mark, and that shows you all your commands you can use, but you can see I'm using the binary. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go, and that's another thing, uh, you can repeat your last command by hitting your up arrow. So copy, forward slash B for binary. I'm going to go shift 8 which brings up the asterisk, which is the wild card. And once again, that is shift eight to get that. And then dot MP3. So basically that is copying as a binary, all the files that end with dot MP3. And then, and then I have to give them a name. So I'm gonna name this uh, Livingston dot MP3. There we go, and if I hit enter, it's gonna copy them all and make it one file named livingston.mp3. There we go. Now, if I do a directory, our last file there should be livingston.mp3. And there it is, you can see how much bigger it is than the rest. So that's that, that's how to do that. Um, 
Windows 10, uh, they have taken away the function where we used to be able to come up here and, you know, open PowerShell right here or open command prompt right here. I don't know why they did it. There is a way to get it back. Um, it, it's not, um, it's not, you know, it's, it's easy enough to do, but, um, it, it, after they do another update, it goes away again and you just got to keep on doing it. You got to keep on chasing the dra dragon's tail, I guess is the way you want to say it. But that's the way to do it. But uh, I can also bring up uh, uh, Audition here, and I could look at that one big file now. If I wanted to come down here and grab it, drag it over here in Audition. You could use Audacity or whatever. Here it is all. I can go uh, effects, uh, normalize that. Livingston advised they got a call of a male at 719 Timmins Road. The male advised Livingston he had killed someone. He's standing in his front yard with a gun. The unit, sir, en route to them. About the same time, they got a call from the landlord at 1060 Stringtown Road, apartment 14. It's going to be the Hillside Cottages. She advised she found a female unresponsive, unknown how she was 10 7. Pretty crazy. Anyway, that's that. I just thought I'd show you the whole the whole file. You can see down here it's 19 minutes now compared to where on these individual files. Uh, well, it doesn't even show. Let's see. Uh, length. Let's get rid of some of this other crap. Album. Whoop. So you can see these are all just tiny little files you know who wants to do that as opposed to this one big file which is 19 minutes 38 seconds but anyway there's how you do that if you got any questions let me know